All right, everybody, here we go. This is not a drill. We have a storm coming from roughly that direction-ish, um, coming from the southwest up this way. And we're just now starting to get the outer uh, bands of it. And I might splice in a picture of where it's sitting right now. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I don't have my phone on me because my phone battery discharged. So I'm on my backup whip phone uh, for the time being and hopefully we got enough leaves in some of these trees back here to kind of break the wind away from the underground bunker as we go inside this building and go underground <laughs> and while we're out here preparing for this storm I thought I might give you a little update on Project Defiance hood emblem can y'all see that can y'all see that this has been a couple of days since I've painted it it's had time to cure in a little bit it's had time to dry can you see the insignia that looks so awesome under that natural light especially out in the wide open I was gonna get some footage at work but see how it's really dark but you can still see the insignia I don't know if the GoPro is probably gonna pick up just red but you can really see the outline of that Starfleet insignia let me move over this way so maybe you can get a good visual on this. Let me see if I can find a good angle. I'm trying to look at it. Be still there. You know. Oh yeah, it's really dark back this way. Let me see if I can look straight ahead at it. Yeah, that turned out sweet. I think anyway. But there is the finished product after it's had a couple of days to dry in. I'm not gonna fool with these edges. I mean that's just too minuscule to fool with that right there. I can probably just sit there and flick it away, but I'm not going to. This edge turned out razor sharp. All the edges did. It's just right there in that one little spot. And I'll take it. So, anyway, I'm really impressed as to how that turned out. Good idea um, that I came up with, actually. Just turning this into a new school, old school look. Space Force-ish Starfleet underneath. That insignia and you can really tell if you know anything about any type of uh, Star Trek or anything you'll know that and something that's really neat that I thought was anyway is these points over here this one is ever so slight forward of the sides which I don't know that, that just to me is just a nice little touch and I didn't do it on purpose uh oh here comes the wind up oh, starting to pick up they said it was tropical force winds gonna start blowing through We'll get some updates. Oh, here we go. Yep. 100 mile an hour wind's gonna be blowing through here, boys. I hope the ablative armor holds on the Defiant. I might wanna cover that back windshield just in case we get debris. I might do that. Like, you know, lay something over it, like one of those um, visqueens over it and just tuck it in the back doors and let that close. But we're going to be doing some updates, hopefully, safely, maybe not a lot of them. But I did want to show this off. Let me, let me turn this light on here. I did want to, uh, did want to show this emblem and how it actually turned out. I don't know. I love it. And now it's time to start getting ready for the sides. I'm going wait to wait a little while on it, but we're going to run down the natural lines here and the bottom of y'all heard. On a couple of occasions and I have decided in the future I don't know when I'm probably gonna wait till I get a new windshield put in we'll do the back first and then we're gonna outline this at least in the back maybe not the front but in this channel in the back since this has such a deep channel here and here we're gonna paint this in here in this channel red also so there we go so there's a little small update both storm and project defiant yeah I love the way that looks, man. 13 layers of paint on the emblem, seven layers of paint on the rest of it. Super good. Oh yeah, love it. That's what we were going for. Scrap to the mind, go out there and have some fun. Stay safe, everybody. Woo!